Welcome to the Mill Creek Central Railroad video series. Here you will find short how-to videos as to how Mill Creek Central operates. This video specifically will review how the card order meet functions at Mill Creek. First off, the card order is a type of paperwork system used by a railroad to keep track of cars on the track and to direct them to various tasks and destinations to accomplish work. At Mill Creek Central, we model that system at our card order meet for fun. Mill Creek has a few rules and procedures that make operating fun and safe. The complete list can be found on the website, but we will review a few key points here. General rules for safety. Use of alcohol or any controlled substance is prohibited while on duty. All passing sightings are operated with mainline track with right hand operations. All switches may be operated as spring switches. Engines and trains will run at a speed consistent with conditions, prepared to stop short of a train, engine, car, switch improperly aligned, or any other obstacle. Engine operators must approach other trains via meet or pass with caution, ensuring switches are properly aligned to prevent collision. Engineers should visually check with the switch points as they approach. Trains waiting should ensure switches are properly aligned to allow approaching trains to pass without stopping. Passenger trains have a timetable authority. They do not require permission to move on their schedule. They may arrive early, but may not leave a station in advance to its scheduled departure time. Personnel will not be retained on the MCC who are careless, disloyal, dishonest, immoral, quarrelsome, or who conduct themselves in a manner where the railroad is subject to criticism or loss of goodwill. The object of operations is to move cars on the railroad as realistically as we can make it. Operate your train realistically as possible. Speed is not the object. It makes no difference whether you complete switching your route in 30 minutes or six hours. Have fun doing it and be safe. As a courtesy to nearby residents, do not use whistles and horns after 10 p.m. Signal system. Nearly all bi-directional signal track parts of a railroad are controlled by signals. MCC uses a three light system. If the signal light is green, means the block ahead is unoccupied. If the signal light is yellow, it means there is a train in the block moving away from you. And if the signal light is red, it means a train in the block is approaching you. To clear or cream a block, gently move the switch arm located on the green or yellow posts. Once the signal clears and the light turns green, you can clean the block by flipping the appropriate track side signal switch. You may enter a block only when you flip the switch and turn the light yellow. Card order operations at Mill Creek. In this variation of operations, each rail car is represented by a card. Two examples are shown below. The card will be in one of three places. In the yardmaster's box when the car is in a division yard, in the conductor's possession when the car is in a train on the railroad, or in a town box when the car is located at an industry in a town. Most importantly, the card stays with the car or at least close to the car. Begin operating session. To begin, the yard master or his assistant will give the conductor a set of five cards for the cars he will need for his train. The conductor will assemble his train cars as required by the cards. When satisfied the cars are correct for his train, the conductor will instruct the brakeman to prepare the train for departure. The conductor will instruct the engineer to move the train to the first town to be switched. After the car or cars have been switched at the industry, the engineer marks off the industry, location, and code for that car. Here is an example for how to mark off the card. After the cards have been marked off, they are placed in the back of the blue town box located near that industry. They take the next card from the front of the town box to determine which car they pick up from that industry. After picking up the new car, the train will then continue to the next town to be switched. 
When the train has completed all five car card switches, it is to return to the yard with its pickups to receive a new assignment from the yard master. There are several positions required for operating the MCC card order meet, which include, but are not limited to, yard master, assistant yard master, engineer, conductor, and brakeman. The yard master is responsible for all decisions regarding yard operations. They ensure the proper paperwork is given to the train crew, and they ensure paperwork from incoming trains is collected. They also issue authorizations to trains entering or leaving yard limits. The assistant yard master supervises arrival and departures of trains. They back up the yard master in his absence and supervise the classification of cars in the yard. Uh, welcome to the Mill Creek Central operating sessions. I am the yard master for this month's operating session, and as such, uh, my job is to prepare trains, uh, is to acquire sets of cars from other trains, sort them into new trains and send them out, as well as manage all other op uh, general operations on the railroad, keeping track of where locomotives are, helping out with uh, various people's operations, uh, various people switching cars, not understanding certain rules and such. And um, uh, keeping track of timetable trains, etc. I'm also in charge of reporting any incidents such as uh, bad turnouts and bad order cars. As the conductor, you are responsible for train operation. You are in charge of your train, and the engineer will only move it under your orders. When a yard master gives you train cars, he should also give you their respective cards with routing information included on them. As the conductor, you must verify the cards are correct for each car, except for the crew cars and caboose. After you receive your cars and cards from the yard master, leave the yard. To understand your consist and to switch it as effectively as possible, stop at the first town on your route and do your paperwork there. As a conductor, you should allow any freight or passenger train around you while switching in a town. If a conductor forgets to deliver or pick up a car, don't worry. Notify the yard master upon your return as a future train can correct the mistake. If you forget to pick up or leave a card, go back immediately. Return cars to the yard master upon returning to the yard. When using radios, stop at the closest passing siding to the yard and contact the yard master to receive permission to enter the yard. If you pick up a car and forget to get the card from the town box, you will not be allowed to drop the car off at the yard. If a car becomes disabled on the railroad, set it off the tracks with its card and notify the yard of its location as a work train can be dispatched to pick it up. Be sure the train crew returns all track switches to their normal direction. The engineer is responsible for operating their train in a safe manner while obeying the MCC rules. The engineer must follow the directions of the conductor as to when to move the train. They are also responsible for reviewing hand and whistle signals with the train crew. The engineer is in charge of engine readiness. The locomotives must be steamed, gas, or charged and ready to go at departure time. Lastly, the engineer is responsible for triggering proper signal control devices to protect the train and or passengers. The brakemen must follow the direction of the conductor when handling couplings and switches. They must use appropriate hand signals when switching and make sure to attach all safety chains. Hand signals. There are a few different types of hand signals that can be used for when coupling cars. The first is a distance measurement shown between your hands, like so, getting closer. Another can be a uh, length of an average car till couple. For instance, three cars to couple, two cars to couple, one cars to couple, half a car, be prepared, couple. Forward hand signal is a vertical movement of your hand. The reverse hand signal is around in a circle. The stop hand signal is across your body horizontally. Below is a list of the standard engine whistle signals. <laughs> the 
Divisions and Town Schematic. This is a diagram of the various divisions and towns included in the card order operating session. The red dots signify the town box locations. This diagram is used when planning your route. It provides location information as well as siding position and direction. It is key for optimizing your schedule.